This is a Dell Lad 2 screen repair guide brought to you by Repairs Universe. To perform this repair, you're going to need three tools, them being the Safe Open Pry tool, a small Phillips screwdriver, and adhesive strips. You can also buy the toolkit located at repairsuniverse.com. To begin the repair, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the device is fully powered off. From there, we'll need to remove the card from the expansion slot here. And now flipping it over, we're going to remove the battery from the back of the device. Simply slide it over. However, this one is locked. I'm just going to use a pry tool. And just help nudge this battery up and out of the device. With the battery now removed, we have two small Phillips screws in each corner location here. So once these are removed, we'll be able to begin releasing all the clips holding this back housing to the rest of the device. So we're just going to start on the outside edge here in this seam. We're using the back end of a spudger tool here. However, you can use any sort of pry tool that you need. We're just going to work our way around, slowly releasing each clip, allowing us to peel it further and further back. And as you can see, we're just working around each side. Now the top. And with those final clips released, we can then pull apart and remove that back housing. Now that we have the motherboard fully exposed, we'll be able to release a few clips and a few screws, allowing us to release this screen. So on the bottom here, we have the slider for the battery. We're going to release both of these small Phillips screws down here. And then we're going to gently tug and lift away at the spring-assisted release. So on the far right here, we're just going to lift up and then push it back down for a small clip in the center there. We're now able to release that spring and remove the slider. Underneath that to the right here is the screen connection. So we're just going to release the back jaw and then pull the flex cable out. Up on the top here will also be one more flex cable that we'll need to release. We're going to leave the motherboard intact while removing the screen. You can also remove the full motherboard, which will be shown in a separate video. So now flipping over to the front, we're now going to begin warming the front end of the screen. Of course, because we have the motherboard still inside, we want to use a very low heat and just take your time when heating the screen. If you go too high a heat, you have a uh, risk of damaging the motherboard itself. So just take your time with this. Use a low to medium heat and spend about 30 to uh, 45 seconds heating the outside edges of the screen here. Now we're going to begin releasing some of that adhesive, holding that screen assembly to the frame. So it's going to slide our spudger tool underneath and begin just releasing that soft adhesive. If the adhesive gets too sticky, you just want to be very sure that you want to reheat very slowly in that area. Again, being careful of any flex cables or the motherboard itself. So as you can see here, just with a light bit of heating, we're able to slide right through that adhesive on that one side. You can also tell that this screen here is very cracked, which makes it a little bit more difficult. However, we're just going to work our way around and continue releasing as much adhesive as we can before reheating. So now we're just going to continue working around the bottom side here near the home button. As you can see, even with this cracked over screen, the adhesive lets up quite easily, although there's still some glass shards coming out. Near the home button here, there's going to be a small piece of tape, which is helping hold in 
this back right here. So as you can see right there, I just release that tape and release the flex cable, which is connected to the copper tape right below it. And then just releasing the rest of the adhesive around it, and there we go. To save on cleanup here, I'm just going to release that adhesive now, while it's still in one piece. That way I can apply new fresh adhesive to the outside bezel here. And there we go, we have now safely separated the screen assembly from the front housing with the attached motherboard. There's only one final step here, which will be removing this plating, back plating, for the LCD screen. So just using our spudger tool, we're just going to get underneath in the corners here, just gently lift up this sheet. swap over to a pry tool. I found it much simpler to approach it from the bottom here. So after I had a difficult time in this top corner here, I just began releasing some of this adhesive on the other side. So there we go, there's the backing starting to be released. This just held in place with a small perimeter of adhesive, but the adhesive itself is not too strong. So you'll be able to easily pull that back. Now you'll just need to release the small bit of tape, this cap on tape, down at the bottom here. And once that's released, we'll be able to fully remove this back plating and any adhesive, so we can just reuse it and just apply it to the new LCD screen. And there you have it. That's how to fully replace the LCD and touchscreen assembly on your Dell Lad 210 without having to remove the motherboard. If you found this video useful, please be sure to like it. Also be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And for more useful guides, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.